write the check. Look at him in the eye, say, write the check. Guys, listen, I don't want you to buy anything. I just want you to do what's right. If somebody rejects you, don't ever change your state. You're not good enough yet. I don't like having these conversations, but they're conversations that need to be had. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying the shameless, uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't want to be one of the nameless. I'm going to wake up with the mindset. This is the secret. And who is the person that is in charge of all of this? I can't, I can't do it. I can't fix you. You couldn't fix me. So when I realized at 19 that 225, I hit it because I had somebody else tell me that it was possible, I realized that whatever I said was gonna happen was gonna happen. But there were some rules to that. Number one, you have to guard your mind. Write it down, guard your mind. Do not ever let negative people come into your life under any circumstance. Be willing to make the decision at any point in time to cut off anyone in your life when you realize they no longer fit your future. There's people in your life right now, you're gonna have two enemies. You're gonna have yourself and you're gonna have other people. Listen, the world is always gonna tell you all this and that. And by the way, I can't change the world. I can't influence it, but I can't change it, but I can change me. I want you guys to write that down. There's two worlds. There's the inner world and there's, there's the outer world. The outer world, I cannot change but I can't influence it. And the greater that you'll influence it is when you take charge of your inside world. Guys, every single one of you, the greatest thing that God ever gave you in your life was a mind and a heart. And when you guys can speak, not with your mouth, because I'm not talking to you with my mouth right now, I'm talking to you with my heart. And I'm wearing my heart right here on my sleeve. I don't have a watch on my hand, I have a heart on my hand. And when I talk to you guys, you guys already know because you can tell that I've been where you're at, I am you and you are me. I want you to remember this. When you're sitting there at somebody's door, they can tell that they are you and you are them. There's these two things that it's called a soul. They have one and you have one. And when you speak to somebody, do they feel like you're speaking to them and it's like wah, wah, wah? Or do they feel like when you speak to them, it's like, dude, I feel like this guy's speaking to my soul. Like, dude, the biggest nightmare that any parent could have is something happens to their house or their children or husband or wife. Guys, we sleep a third of our life. Did you guys know that? When we go to sleep, who's protecting us? God and the angels in heaven? I know that. But bad people still have choices. Bad people make bad decisions, bad choices. And we can't control them. And God gave people the option to have choice in this world. Am I correct? Yes. And so bad people have choices. And when I sleep a third of my life, I sleep a third of my life, I know when I go to sleep, I know for me and my family, we're going to be protected. Everybody will sign up. Can you guys speak the way I speak? Yes, yes you can. How do you learn to speak the way I speak? You speak more. Everybody write down flow state. From now on, you son of a bitches are gonna speak all day long. And when you speak, you're going to practice some things, not on your customers, in every conversation you have, you're going to practice your speaking. I want when you talk to the lady at the gas station to say, oh my God, what do you do? Because she's like, I don't even know why I want to know, but like just talking to you for three sentences, you've intrigued me and I'm interested. Everybody write down micro skills. Underneath speaking, write down micro skills. Okay, eyes, hands, teeth, hair, the, the, the way you laugh, your hands, your, your, the, your feet work, the way you move your feet when you're talking. Okay, your body posture. If you nod, your shoulder shrugs, okay? Do you point when you talk? Are your hands down, are they up? Okay, is it inviting, is it warm? Are you pulling people in, or are you pushing them away? Like everything you do, all of your voice, is it high, is it low, is it smoothing? Is it a, a, a passionate, guys? Passion, carry it with you in every conversation. And people will be addicted to being around you because you're alive. Dude, people that are dead, when they hear you alive, they'll either come to you or hate you. They'll be like, I'm miserable, I don't like her. She's fake. They wanna say anything they can to get you to stop doing what you're doing because they put boundaries on them and, they, and you haven't put any boundaries on you. And when I put boundaries on you and you don't follow those boundaries and you get outside that box, I'm not happy. So I will say anything and everything to hurt you to get you to stop. 
Everybody write down this word, crickets. When people talk shit, they are called the crickets. We step on crickets. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. You never respond to a hater. Never. Don't waste your time explaining to people that, that aren't on the same page as you and who don't know what you're after. Listen, can you guys, are you guys inside of me? You can, you can hear what I say, but you guys aren't inside of me. You, you guys can't see my mind. You guys can't see my heart. Only I can see that. So how can someone tell me what's possible? Only I know. Some of you in here, the truth of it is, I'm going to be honest with you, you're weak right now. You don't have to stay weak, but you are weak. You have a weak mind. You need to examine your heart. You got, you got darkness in your heart. You need to forgive yourself. You got shame. You need to move past that. You need to realize that your job is to help other people. How would you feel if you sold someone an alarm system and three days later someone tried to break in and it scared the burglar away because they had an alarm? Would you feel good about yourself? Yes. That's what you guys do. Dude, there's the how. There's the what. But then there's the why. Why do we do what we do? Why would we go to every door and bring passion? Why would we talk to people like their family's depending on this, their life's on the line? Because it is. Dude, sir, husband, wife, sit on this side of the house. Your children don't sleep in the same bed with you. And even if they did, if someone walked through that door and you didn't know they were in your room, you're in trouble. If somebody broke into your daughter's window and you were sleeping, dude, you wouldn't want to kill that guy, but you can't when you're sleeping. Dude, you think burglars are stupid or smart? If they're brave enough to go to your house and get in your window or, or break in, you don't think they think that you got weapons? Dude, they got weapons too. <laughs> Bad guys aren't stupid. They're quite smart and they have big balls. They're not afraid. That's why we created something called an alarm because it alarms them that they're not, they're not breaking into an idiot's home. And once that siren sounds, they're gone. Dude, one second will save your whole family's life. And I'm here to prepare if that one second ever needs to happen, you guys have that in place. That's all I want to do. If you had to write a check for what your family's safety is worth, you probably couldn't write the check. But if you could, it'd probably have to be worth at least $58. Write the check. Look at them in the eye. Say, write the check. Let's set this up. You're going to sleep like a baby. And by the way, thank you for being a leader and putting your family first. A lot of people would rather go to the gas station and blow money on some chips. Okay, because that's how cheap this shit is. Okay, you can't even walk into a damn 7-Eleven without walking out 50 bucks. Okay, you're talking about protecting your whole family. Guys, this is what life's about. This is what you guys do. Now listen, I want to tell you something, okay? The transportation space, I was smart. Everybody needed a car. So I sold something that everybody had to have. <laughs> You guys sell something that everybody has to have. Can I ask you a question? Do you guys knock on apartment doors? No, no. Single people live in apartments. You guys knock on homes. You guys go to homes because people that have families stay in homes. Dude, when you're living by yourself and you don't have a family, you're not like, I want to go buy a home. You're like, dude, I'll just stay in a freaking loft or I'll stay in an apartment or, you know, because you're not one to get into all this debt. You don't want to go rent a house when you're single. You get an apartment because it's easy to upkeep. But when you get a family, you have the family dream. You have the American dream. I want to get them a house and have my deal and have my family. I want to grow my life. But you got to protect them. Your number one job in your life is to protect your family. And that's what you guys do. You guys, you guys, your product is for everybody. Now, for those of you in here today that are with me, that you guys understand what I'm saying, your life will never be the same again after this day. You'll walk out. You came in one way, you'll leave another. This isn't sales training. This is me telling you that if you've always been looking for your way out, you just, find it. you just found it. If you've always been looking to be surrounded by good people who care about you and want to become great, by the way, look at the people that you currently have in your life. Some of you right now, I can already tell that you don't have good people in your life. I can already tell that you have people in your life right now that aren't inspiring you to be greater or else you already would be. Just a newsflash, if you worked around me for a week, you would be different or I would kick you to the curb. I ain't wasting my time. I ain't wasting my energy on people that don't want to change. That's how I've chosen to live. 
But it sounds like some of the people that y'all have chosen to live around are completely okay with you being the way you are. You got to find a new circle. You just found one here. This is your new circle. And by the way, you're not all going to make it. Some of you in here, you're going to have low self-limiting beliefs. You're not going to think you're worth it. You're going to think this is stupid at some point. You can go back to your old life. Okay? In order to get a new life, you got to give up your old one. You got to give it up. Okay? Either sacrifice for what you want or for what you want becomes a sacrifice. Very easy. You decide. You guys see how my words flow like water? I'm dangerous, folks. I'm just telling you. I can just chop you guys up for days. Now, listen. Do you guys want to be diamonds or you guys want to be turds? Okay, listen. What do diamonds go through? Pressure. Pressure. What do diamonds have? How do they become worth more money? Cuts. I have scars all over me, guys. I have failed so many times. I've learned the power into growing faster as being around a great leader. You guys have that now. Okay, so no more excuses. Okay, also I've learned when a diamond goes through pressure and then it gets its cuts to get its worth, it also has got to get heat put on it. You guys got to love pressure. If you're a turd, right, you don't want to hear this. But if you're a diamond, you want to know, how do I become more valuable? By the way, you want to make more money? Increase your value. You got to go through cuts. You got to go through heat. You got to go through pressure. I love if you guys have scars on you. If you have scars on you, here's what I want you to do. I don't want you to hide it. People will love you when they know that you're an overcomer. Okay? I don't have respect for people that have cuts and can't heal. Hurt people hurt people. Okay? A lot of you in here, all you want to do is hurt people. You want to be a dick. Okay? Turn your wounds into your weapons. Okay? Be weaponized with your past. Okay? There's this thing that I always say. It's called red card slap. It means this. How intelligent are you? If every time you did something that was bad for you, I slapped you across the face, eventually, if you're smart, you're like going to start ducking. Some of you don't duck. You keep getting slapped. I want to show you the difference between people who get where they want to go quick and people who go there slow or never get there. It's your intelligence. You don't have to be smart in your head. You just have to have a little common sense. If I hit a customer, I say this, or if I go and I don't wake up for the gym in the morning and I feel groggy during the day and I don't feel like I'm in a good mood, but then I go to the gym in the morning and then I feel like I'm in a better mood all day long. I got more energy. I'm like, man, I feel great today. My, 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 my mouthpiece feels like it's working. Everything's going good. But then the next day I don't. It's like you're getting slapped by not going to the gym. So how many times will you go not going to the gym and then going to work and be an idiot? You guys got to understand, once you realize something's bad for you, the person that can self-correct is forever wealthy. Once you realize, hey, I haven't been going to the gym. That's bad. Stop now. Do I ever need to remind you again how you operate at your best? No. No. When you're around negative people that talk shit on other people, that gossip on other people, that are losers, that tell you they don't like what you're doing, if I have to tell you that being around those people are stupid, you're stupid. Do you know that's bad? Okay, so get rid of them. Well, I don't want to hurt them. You're an idiot. Fine. Stay down. Drowned. Go ahead. Drown. But stop bitching and quit telling everybody you want a better life. Because you're a liar. Okay? If a lifeboat's going by and you're drowning, you swim to the lifeboat. This is your lifeboat. That's it. Okay? I want to tell you guys, what can happen in one year if you guys will take your life serious? If everybody can make it a, a commitment right now in this room, that they will be here next year. Just if you have the courage and if you're disciplined enough to do it. If you can make the commitment, you'll be here next year, I won't even recognize any of you. Okay, number one, you won't recognize me either because I'm going to be way further. But all of you will be different. All of you will look different. You'll speak just like me. You'll be identical. You'll be better than me. My goal is to make you better than me. Okay, so I just, that's my goal for you. That's what I want. I want to finish on this. And I made all this money. And then I realized when I made all this money that it didn't fix the hole in my heart. And I was still empty. But I had a lot of money. Had a lot of cars. A lot of people were like, oh my God, he made it. We didn't think he was, but he made it. Really, at the end of the day, I realized the greatest thing that I can do is help someone. And every single day, and by the way, so when I started helping people, the reason why you want to pay attention and listen to me right now because I'm teaching you how to teach people. I'm teaching you how to talk to people. When I close and sell people, man, I just pep talk for us. 
I'm going to be honest with you, dude. I really don't need to get into the product knowledge. That's all pretty simple, man. Like, listen, you guys don't want to geek out on what this alarm does. You just want to know if somebody taps that window, comes to that door, that thing's going to go off and scare them off. Am I correct? Yes. That's all you want to do. Like, I'm going to get into all the questions. 1% of the people really want to know all the, all the jibber-jabber. But really, at the end of the day, this is what it does. This is what it costs. This is the way you're going to feel. This is the value it's going to give you. And if you guys want that, then let's roll. You guys got me? Like, I don't need to get into all that, right? So I'm pep-talking people, and they're like, hell yeah, let's sign up. That's what you guys got to do. I just pep talk people's asses. Dude, I'll close somebody. They don't even know, I don't even know what I bought. But I'm signing up. I don't even need to tell them what they're buying. I just, people won't always remember what, what you said, but they'll always remember the way you made them feel. That's why you got to become somebody like this. First of all, all you guys in here, you guys are motivational speakers. Do you want to motivate people to do what you want them to do? You're motivational speakers. Are you guys all public speakers in here? Yes. Hell yeah, you got to speak publicly for a living. Whether you're speaking to one or 10,000, I want you to envision every time you're talking to a customer, there's a camera on you. By the way, if that camera was watching you right now, would it say, let's say winning was a camera and it walked around and it was recording all you, would it be like, oh, oh yeah, she's, come on baby, I see you, I see her, I see you, come on, I see you girl, go get it. I see that dude, yes, that's it, that dude's going to get it. Or is it like, no, nah, they don't want it. They don't want it. What you do, this is the biggest thing that I can leave you with. What you do when no one's looking will determine what level of a winner you are. Okay? What you do when you're outside this room will determine the level of winner you are. That's it. This is your life, guys. You're the only person in charge of it. No one else is in charge of you. Not your mom, your dad, your grandma, your grandpa, your girlfriend. I don't give a shit. All those people don't matter. You will become as great as you want to become. It is all on you. And I love that. And I will tell you, the people that you're around to determine the way that you think, how big you'll believe, and, and what you think is possible. Okay? And I'm unrealistic. I want you guys to join me. I'm unrealistic. How many alarms can we close? Everyone. Dude, you answer this door, I'm going to change your life. You answer that door, I'm going to change. Notice, I didn't say, if you open this door, I'm going to close you. I said, you open this door, I'm going to change your life. My job is my purpose. If I'm at this home and there's not an alarm on this house, everybody can afford alarm. First of all, just so we're aware, 100% of the population can afford alarm. So let's not be silly. People blow this as is gas station money. Okay? So let's quit pitching them like we're trying to get them to sign up for a car payment. It's, this, is, this is freaking gas station money, folks. Okay? And it protects your family and the people you love, the people you want to be with forever. If somebody was to harm your family, how would you feel? Okay, cool. You sleep a third of your life. Okay, that means a third of your life currently because your home doesn't have an alarm, your family's unprotected. That's scary. It scares the hell out of me. Hey, if you were living alone, watch this. Close them. If you were living alone and you didn't have kids and a wife, if you were living alone, ma'am, and you didn't have a husband and kids, if you were living alone, ma'am, and you didn't have kids, hey, whatever. But if there's kids in this house, no ways. No ways. This is just discipline. Can you say no to the gas station, throw money in the trash can to protect your family if you can? Let's do this. Okay? Hey, by the way, if you say no to me right now, I'm happy to leave, and I love you, and I appreciate you, and I'll pray for you. Okay? But I promise you, if somebody comes through that window, you're not going to know about it. I don't know what will happen. People that come through windows don't have good intentions. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Hey, tell them, I don't like having these conversations but they're conversations that need to be had. If somebody broke in right now and your alarm went off tonight and it scared them off, would you call me and thank me? I pray that you'll never have to call and thank me. But in the event that somebody does, you will call and thank me because we made a decision together today. Guys, look in their eyes. Challenge them as a human being. Guys, listen, I don't want you to buy anything. I just want you to do what's right. Do you guys feel me? I don't want you to buy anything. I just want you to do what's right. I was concerned why it wasn't already on the house. I wasn't even going to stop. I really wasn't even going to stop. I was just here for the people in the area that weren't protected. But then I noticed that maybe, maybe you had it, but the sign wasn't out. I don't know. Look, I'm just a good person. Listen, let me tell you how I feel. I got into sales to help people. So I thought, what's the number one thing in the world that helps more families than anything? It's going to be an alarm for the protection for the family and their safety. And by the way, not while you're awake, but while you're sleeping. Hey, it can play out while you're awake. I, I get that. I can set the alarm while we're watching movie night, hanging out, we're awake. But most of the time, a third of your life, you're asleep. 
That's why this is most important. A third of your life. If you could protect a third of your life for the rest of your life for $49 a month, it would be worth it. Okay. Do you guys see this? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Okay. Now I want to tell you this. This hole in my heart got filled when I started helping people. The more people I help, the more money I make. I want everybody to write this down and I'm done. Heaven on earth. This is the opportunity that you guys have right now. Heaven on earth. You guys can help people. That's heaven. You guys can help people. On earth, you can get rich doing it. Heaven on earth. I remember when I sold cars, I was in the transportation space, everybody needed something, but really at the end of the day, I mean, I guess I could sell somebody a safe car that had good safety features, but it really didn't bring a lot of value. I made a lot of money. I love alarms. I believe in alarms. Do you guys believe in it? Yes. Do you guys understand the importance of it? Yes. Okay. Listen, I need you guys to educate people. I don't need you to educate them as an order, as, as an order taker. I need you to ed educate them as a motivational speaker. I need, I need you to educate them as a person of authority. I need you to educate them. A lot of you guys, you don't have kids in a family, but I need you to understand that you need to understand what it's like to have kids in a family. So if I'm young and I don't, and I don't have kids in a family and I'm talking to somebody that have kids in a family, what would I say? I always say something like this. Like my father always told me. See that? See, that allows me to, to state authority without them. Because if, if I'm 20 years old in this room, I don't have kids. So I can say my father's always, always told me. My mother always told me the number one goal in her life was the safety of the family. And so when I decided what career industry to get into, I thought, what's the number one thing that allows safety to the family? It's an alarm. So I didn't want to sell anything. I just wanted to help people. So I found a company that literally loves helping people, and it's so inexpensive. It's like gas station trash money. And it's such a big impact. You guys see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. See, see, I said my father taught me. My mother always told me. You see that? When I add that in there, it's like, oh, man, that's wisdom. When you can state wisdom as a kid, then they think, oh, this isn't some 20-year-old trying to pitch me on the porch for an alarm. This is a 20-year-old on the porch that had a good family. A 20-year-old on the porch that their parents had wisdom, and they actually shared that to him. This kid could be working anywhere. He could be, at a, he could be a roofer. He could be in auto sales. He could be anywhere, but do you know where he is? He's on my front porch trying to educate me that there's something that I don't have that I need. And by the way, it's stupid cheap. It's literally almost free. You would say, I said, literally, it's almost free. Right? Is it? Okay. I'm done. Okay. Did you guys learn a lot? Yeah. Okay. I want you to remember this. I want you to write this down. When you guys get out of here, are you guys going to go sell? Yes. I want to know who the greatest student is in this room. That's what I want to know. I don't need you to raise your hand because I'll know your numbers because I'll see your numbers. I want to know who the greatest student is in this room. And I'm going to tell you what I'm attracted to. When I see you guys give all you got, when I see you changing your body, when I see you changing your language, when I see you changing your focus, when I see you doing all this stuff, like to me, I'm like, dude, this, this is the person I want to give more to. Okay? And so I told Brandon, I said, hey, listen, these guys that really go all in. By the way, I want to tell you something, just so you're aware. I'm an underdog. I was the least likely to make it. I stuttered. I wasn't a good speaker. Okay? I didn't know what I was doing. But the minute someone gave me an opportunity, I never took it for granted. I went home. I ripped the TV off my wall. I put whiteboards in my house. I was literally studying and out self-developing anybody if I wasn't working. Every morning I was in the gym paying the price because I know if dreams come with a price, and if you don't pay the price, you don't get the dream. Winning comes at a price. A lot of you in here haven't been winning because you haven't been in the right organization. You haven't been with the right leaders. Okay? Okay and then you haven't been paying the price. You guys can just draw a line in the sand right now. You guys can fix all that. You guys got me? Yes. Okay, so I believe in you guys, okay? If you get rejected, if somebody tells you no, I need you to understand this. The only way to win is through failure, okay? I want everybody to just say this. Say, thank you. Thank you. I owe you. I owe you. So if somebody says, no, we're not interested in you leave, so hey, thank you, I owe you. I appreciate that. Thank you telling me no today, okay? By the way, in the event that you want to protect your family, 
here's my card. You can reach back out to me. I'm literally a phone call away. I'll be happy to come back to the house. That's all I want to do. Thank you. I owe you. I appreciate your time today. People will be like, dude, what would that kid say? <laughs> thank you. I owe you. Yeah, I owe you. Like, thank you for that. Like, I appreciate that. But I still want to tell you, I'm a phone call away if you need this. A lot of people will call you back if you're good to them. If somebody rejects you, don't ever change your state. Don't ever be bad to them. Okay? Listen to me. It's not, you're not good enough yet. I believe a lot of you are good enough right now where you can go get results. But every day, your goal is to get 1% better, 2% better, 3% better so that no one can tell you no. No one can tell me no. I know that. And not because I'm Andy Elliott. Andy Elliott was a loser until he trained and became a winner. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.